So many of my favorite keto doctors are now talking about carnivore. Then I get all these questions about carnivore. So guess what we're talking about today? The carnivore diet. Carnivore. Hello, wellness warriors. Welcome to Mind Blowing Health and Wellness with Violet, Pat Chat Edition. I'm Violet. And I'm Pat. So in this video, we're going to review all the, the basics of the carnivore diet, what you can eat, what you can't eat, uh, how it should go maybe for you who has a little bit more restrictive diet because you don't eat red meat, like how would you do it? Uh, for me, that had, don't have any restrictions really. So let's cover that. I honestly feel like this is one of those situations where I have a vegetarian asking me, how do I do keto on ve or vegan? How do you do keto? On I have no idea um, what that would look like, but let's let's go for it. Let's go for it. Okay. So the basic, basic level of carnivore diet contains only animal product, uh, no plant based anything. And the most extreme carnivore diet only contain contains meat and water. So I'm going to right now say what I've said a bunch of times, carnivore diet. Hmm is a subset of a keto diet because let's just keep our mind around the mm -hmm. idea that keto is 20 grams of carb or right. less so when i hear words like extreme it like makes me nervous to hear those yeah. kind of words when you're talking about if i choose to do zero plant in my carnivore mm -hmm. lifestyle then that's me choosing to do that is it necessary to do that's a question mark mm. But, but let's go forward and yeah. see what they have to say. But, but, but when they refer to as extreme, like is only the meat and water, uh, most doctors are like are, are, are going for like animal products. So basically what can you have on the carnivore diet? Obviously meat, so muscle meat. You can have cheese. Uh, you can have like the high fat dairies. Um, Which would be cheese. And, yeah, it would be cheese too. Maybe like uh, a, what? What else is a high fat dairy? I've seen Dr. Berry talk about sour cream a little bit, but like for it's okay. for carnivore, uh, probably. Uh, I even s I heard him mention uh, kefir, I think. So, uh, but Oof, but make sure. Know. Yeah, like, I, okay. I agree with you. Like because I've I've read like uh, people uh, drinking milk, but milk is relatively high carb. Like for a cup, it's ten. I guess it still grams, theoretically so. falls in the carnivore because it's coming from it's, an animal. It's animal. I guess so. So hmm. yeah, you know, it's, it's weird but, because. As we're saying, as we're talking about this, I feel like the funny thing is that when I hear carnivore diet, my brain says zero carb diet, which mm. is like what it used to be called. But in fact, that's not that's not what we're talking about. Mm. We're talking about the carnivore diet, which is about animal products. Animal. Yeah. So like even like even though my brain is struggling right now, because if I'm doing a carnivore diet, I guess theoretically I could drink milk, mm. which yeah. is a very interesting point to put there right like there are some, theoretically yeah, i could yeah there are some it's like a few gray zones like cheese obviously it's coming from an animal but it's yeah. kind of transformed a little bit i guess so but, but does but, carnivore have anything to do with transforming it I so, so, you're right. so it's a very so, interesting point there right mm -hmm. like because i like the idea and, and when i think about carnivore i do think of it as a subset of keto but mm -hmm. then keto is about keeping your carbohydrate number well, low. Mm -hmm. If I'm doing carnivore and I'm drinking a liter of milk a day, I I'm think... not going to have zero carb that no. in that scenario. Yeah. I'm not going to have even close to I'll be I'll be over my 20. Yeah. So, ah, interesting. And of course, like uh we need to include eggs and they're good like in a carnivore diet. Well, obviously, I mean mm -hmm. eggs are yeah. a baby animal. I mean eggs, fish, like any protein Anything. source yeah. that's coming from animal would count. I guess for me, the, the question mark is when we're talking about carnivore, I think there is a logic that says when you're doing a carnivore diet, you're also still aiming at keeping your carb count low. But it's just like when we start thinking about the definition of carnivore, I don't know that I've heard carbohydrate be part of the definition. No, you're right. And so that's where right. I, I, I question marks. So, so like you said, all kinds of meats are good. So you might want to expand a little bit your uh, repertoire of meats if, like, if you're limited, if you can. I think what's interesting too is just putting, putting the idea that it's normal meat or it's not lean meat. Mm, yeah. Right. Like, like the the thing about doing a carnivore lifestyle, which again comes back to that whole milk idea. Well, theoretically, if you're getting most of your energy from protein sources and we're not having any high carb counts and well you know what i'm wondering is there any other byproduct that we get from animals that's high in carb besides milk 
cheese is low. Mm-hmm. Um, heavy cream is, is there, low. Heavy cream is low. Um, is there anything else that could possibly like cause a problem besides milk? Well, yeah, some cheeses are that are a little bit higher in carbs. You need to be careful. And but honestly, theoretically, be... it would just be the milk. I think really. So. I don't think okay, so. great. Yeah. So, so, so. so that's the thing. So then, obviously, when we like, like with the ketogenic lifestyle, when you take out the carbohydrates, having fat available to fuel your body becomes really important. So, mm-hmm. I would also say the other thing here is that we're going through the different kinds of meats, but also just keeping in mind that we want the meat to be the, the not lean version yeah. of whatever it is you're taking. Yeah, indeed. Which obviously works in our favor because that's mm-hmm. the cheaper meat in the store anyway. And I, I've heard like um, doctors recommending a ratio. I think of one to one, one 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 fat for one protein. So uh, so yeah, if you buy the, the the leanest cut of meat, like you're probably gonna need to add fat if you can't manage the the, the fattier cut of meats. So now the question for me oh. is like, how easy is it to do that? Like I rem- mm-hmm. so here's the qu- here's the thing. I remember when I first started keto absolutely being able to eat um, pork belly and I could eat a good 14 ounce piece of pork belly had no problem eating it and then like in the last year I've noticed I cannot do that anymore like I get like through through half of that and I'm like full but I wonder if I wasn't eating any any carbs would I be able to eat that full thing now I think that's more than one to one question of um, it's it's more than one to one I think there's more fat than, than protein but it's a question of uh, of your you don't like the taste anymore. No, no, I was full. Okay, ah, full, it fills right. you faster. But okay. then, so this mm. is another question mark because one of the things that we were noticing when we were looking at our favorite doctors talking about carnivore is that whereas on a keto lifestyle, the um, advice is to eat to satiation, on a carnivore lifestyle, the advice is to eat so you're slightly full. Mm. And so now the question is like. What would happen if I'm eating all these meats and I'm not having any veg? Mm. So would I be able to eat a bit more? There's a question mark. Yeah. Like I, I'm kind of curious yeah. to know, like how would that affect, especially someone like me that I'm so I've gotten so good at eating mm. to satiation and just stopping and like I'm done. Like would it? Would I be hungrier? Would that but push I'm, me to eat yeah, more? Yeah, I'm curious. Like in your case, since you're uh, you're very fond of one meal a day because like it suits your lifestyle, maybe that would be the 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 problem. I guess maybe you would need just to add like uh, another piece of meat at lunch or something like that. If you can't manage all the the energy or the well, I'm gonna call the calories, but like uh, I'm not gonna call sitting, it calories. If yeah. I can if I can't manage all the energy, <laughs> I know, yeah. why would I need to eat it then? Yeah, it's true. So like the question is, if I'm not hungry but, at other parts of the day, and when it's supper time, I can get through what I can get through. Then what? But in your case, even pushing your carbs number, like you're 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 around 18 right now, I think per day, if you push it more, you might uh, find yourself in a situation where you would lose more weight. That's something that you don't want to do for people that are. I'm uh, confused. You push my carb number? What do you yeah, mean? I don't know, but uh, what I mean is, like, if you push your carbs number closer to zero now you're at my 18. carb number is not 18 but, i told you like uh, that's the max i can eat yeah, i never max. eat oh, okay, 18 okay, okay. like i but, if, but whatever number on a high day i eat about 10. yeah but pushing it closer to zero maybe would put you in a situation where you would lose more weight something that you that you, that you want to do the way that i keep my weight stabilizes by eating the extra fat the extra that's fat. what that's why the, that's what the extra it's fat is for yeah yeah, yeah, yeah. The carbs, so the carbs are seriously okay. for entertainment. <laughs> like, yeah. like when I do eat them, they're for entertainment. Okay. Yeah, yeah. Okay. I'm, I'm more concerned about this idea of like, I, I'm so used to eating to satiation. If I push myself, which I mean, I do do sometimes when I eat. Mm. When we have our Greek meal, when we go to that restaurant, to the the barbecue place, both of those scenarios, I eat a touch more than you. I just, I, it's, I like it, so I eat a touch mm. more. But am I ever walking away stuffed? No. I'm never walking away mm. stuffed. I mean, I, but flip side of the coin, I could put away a good amount of meat. So maybe yeah. it won't be such a big deal. Actually, as I'm talking it through, maybe it won't be such a big deal. Mm-hmm. That's interesting. Okay. Yeah, yeah. How are you feeling about the idea of cutting your carb count? Because you're the one that like you eat carbs every day. Y- yes. Yes, I do. Uh, I eat the salad, the vegetables, the, avo- the, the, the occasional avocado, the nuts. I know I should be cutting the nuts. So that's like, uh, actually like that. That's Are you still eating nuts? Eh? Are you still eating nuts? Yeah. 
Yeah. I didn't know that. I'm, so, I'm that. sorry. I do. I, did, I, just, I didn't know that. I like, <laughs> no, but I, but I thank like, you for not showing them to me when I come to your place. Of course, no, no. I, <laughs> yeah, they, they take pretty good care of hiding them. But but like no, the, the last one I I bought was uh, the macadamia at uh, Costco. They had a bag, and I yeah yeah I just like got uh, pulled toward like uh, the nuts. But like yeah, I I know uh, for sure that I should be cutting them. Uh, because like when I like, exactly like uh, in your situation that uh, you were before like if I start like usually I can't stop so I'm probably having too much uh, like the one serving easily can turn into uh, two three four but actually on I've been pretty good on that bag I do measure so it's one serving and like even half a cup with the the, the numbers that they give me like two net carbs I think uh, I can manage one of the things I find interesting but, for me just on a side note of why I've been really good at not having being pulled to buy the nuts is because and that it costs like the the aisle that's in that Costco is the same aisle that I used to buy my daughter's like snacks for school mm -hmm. and since she switched to having only cheese for school I don't have to go down that aisle yeah. anymore so like I actually don't walk past the nuts so I don't get <laughs> I don't get tempted okay, she just you. takes cheese yeah. well I mean school's over now but she was just taking mm -hmm. cheese all the time yeah so I know for sure like that uh, you have a good point like what's keeping me I think uh, over my my weight is probably the nuts uh, the 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 full fat yogurt that I always talk about. So are you still having that? I'm still having that. Yeah. Well, okay. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So many Once in a while. <laughs> Once in a while. So yeah, I do. Okay. <laughs> Whenever you come home, I hide everything. It's not true. Well, but you don't like, have to uh, hide that. I wouldn't need yeah, that. I know. I just don't go in your fridge. But uh, but actually, the the thing is like. Um, in the last few weeks like i've there's uh, occasions where i did uh, for example uh, short beef uh, beef sh uh, short beef beef short ribs uh, i only had that for a, a meal and the package was like it's probably like a pound so there was four pieces but i didn't have any uh, sides and i was like i i, I did enjoy that very much and Oh, okay. oh, the avocados. Yesterday, yesterday we had an avocado. It was okay, and the salad is okay. So I, I don't know. I think like uh, that's like what's appealing to me, like especially as presented by uh, by uh, our favorite doctors with uh, maybe the the liver and the organ meat. I'm not super fond of organ meat, although I never really tried them either. So the, the liver I did. So the liver I do like. So that's not going to be a problem. But I'm even tempted to go a little bit further like uh, with... Uh, to experiment? With, yeah, to experiment with other organ meats. And, uh, and and yeah, to be honest, I'm, I could be totally satisfied. For me, like a piece of steak is more appealing than a salad. So, so that's what's appealing uh, for it's me so, with the diet. It's so funny though, mm -hmm. because when you think about it, like you're more in enthusiastic about the meat but yet still put veggies like you on still my put the veggies on you like and still put them in like in like but, interestingly I'll, large amounts like but i need the minerals and vitamins and i i think i didn't do that cut yet what cut <laughs> of the, of thinking that i need the minerals and vitamins in the veggies i put on my plate oh to be honest like i do like a caesar salad like let's like i'm gonna be like honest here but broccoli i'm gonna have broccoli like the other the other day but but see like i i don't even know if i can consider them fun see uh, the only i have to say i i agree with you i like when you make me a caesar <laughs> salad like i hate making it but if mm -hmm. you make it i do like the taste of caesar salad mm -hmm. the other stuff but but yeah, it's just, it's in, just in the Caesar salad, side. except for oh, sorry, except for the lettuce, like everything is. We always make it full fat. We use Parmesan cheese. We use bacon. Uh, we use the the there's no that, croutons. That, uh, there's no croutons. That the dressing that's full fat. So it's just weird. I do yeah. I do find it interesting. And now that we're talking it through, like how many things we're eating just to have something beside yeah, our meat, yeah. or at least for me, anyways. Like that's the thing that kind of made me start to wonder. Like all these doctors talking about it how how in the last especially in the last i'd say four months how frustrated i've been that once again the amount of veg i'm throwing in the garbage mm -hmm. is starting to creep up again and like and i cannot put my mind around how to get it on my plate after i bought it usually i buy it on the mm -hmm. weekend that we're all together eating at my place and then it slowly slowly gets yeah. thrown in the garbage <laughs> But so like uh, apart from not throwing vegetables, is there any other appeal in the carnivore? Especially since you can't you can't eat red meat and probably organ meats. So that's uh, the scary part about carnivore: mm. the fact the fact that I can't 
do organ meat. So, but, but what I found out from Dr. Berg and Dr. Barry is that you can do, um, I could do eggs mm. because eggs have vitamins and minerals as well in it because it's, a, I mean, it's a little beginning of a life, right? Mm. So it has everything it needs in there. So that was kind of fun to figure mm. out. Um, I'm looking forward to uh, see how that plays itself out. And I feel like that's going to be a huge difference between you and I because you're able to actually go yeah. and get those organ meats and, and play with them and see how you can make it fit mm -hmm. into your your weekly meal plan. Um, I'm not going to risk that. No, so <laughs> so not. I'm yeah, going to do eggs. Mm -hmm. um, but I do plan to also try my best to expand what meats I can have. So all the white meats mm -hmm. go all. Especially that's a big turkey. word. Mm. That's a big word. I'm not going to do all. I might I might try turkey again. I might try duck again just to see is mm. there a way I could cook it that makes it taste okay to me. I I never liked those. Well, you don't explore fish fish that much either. You maybe you can start exploring a bit more fish. It's a possibility. <laughs> I'm going to cook fish for. Don't worry, guys. <laughs> I, it's a possibility I, that I might yeah. explore fish. What I what I could see myself doing? Surf and turf. Like okay. having a bit of fish there, but having some yeah, other some meat, meat that I know that I like so that I can kind of eat my way around the plate. You know, when you think about that, you just said <laughs> surf and turf. And I was thinking about like uh, going uh, to a restaurant with my boys, I think last week and on the menu, they had a steak and eggs. And and this steak still, and eggs? yeah, steak and egg. And, and still like to like as today, it kind of like feels weird to hear like that you can have a steak and egg together. But in a carnivore world, it makes a lot of sense. Why not just replace your broccoli with an egg, like, and and get all the? But still, like, when you think about the surf and turf, it's the same thing. Like, you have fish and 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 meat. Like, it's always felt a little bit weir so, weird when I was going to restaurant when the, I was younger. But the thing that's funny is that the only reason that I never did it because I don't like the flavors. But okay. now I'm wondering, like, you know, three years in, would the flavors bother me as much anymore? Mm. Right? Like, so because my my mouth is not chasing sugary flavors maybe fish is going to taste better to me it's now better, yeah. so i'm oh i'm kind of open kind of i'm mm. kind of open <laughs> to trying fish as long especially if i know i'm going to have some kind of meat or eggs or something else on the plate yeah. i'm i'm open to that mm -hmm. so we'll, we'll see I, I i think you know obviously the biggest reasons to do any of this is for health, for health yeah. right like so the way that i'm interpreting carnivore which is that towards that zero carb mm -hmm. you know idea um, I'm very, very, very comfortable going into this because I don't believe with the number of carb-free days I already do anyways, I don't believe I'm far away from being carnivore. You know, I, I could seriously do four days out of the week not having any veg on my plate when I have supper. Mm -hmm. So, you know, it's, it's, it's not that far. Well, yeah. When you think about it, actually, I'm thinking about all of you guys that uh, sometimes leave comments like with, that have trouble with their families, with their kids, that like, how am I going to manage everything? I, I Maybe like the carnivore way is the simplest of all. Like you just like do yourself the meat and add the sides for your the rest of your family if they, they want it. I have, I've started thinking about that with my boys. Like for sure, I'm going to keep doing the vegetables and uh, I've already eliminated like French fries and, and rice. Rice, like occasionally I'm going to, make some uh, some for them uh but like i'm i'm really really pushing like on the vegetable but more like uh, just because yeah they're teens and and i don't know i'm not even sure why i'm pushing the vegetables at this point right but, now. They like but they like vegetables i mean yeah. honestly and they and they like raw vegetables so it's yeah. not like it's not like it's hard like they from what I like, if, and actually the three of our kids, like mm. they actually do lean more towards those low glycemic vegetables. They like, yeah, they true. lean more towards mm. salad. They, they actually do lean more towards the things that are like, that are healthier already mm. to begin with. It really depends on where they're eating. Mm -hmm. You know, at my mom's place, we eat a, they eat a little differently than at their yeah. mom's place. They eat a little differently than when they're with us. They eat a little differently. But like in none of the places do they complain. Mm -hmm. And in none of the places, like, do they, 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 ch like, I, well, I shouldn't say that. Maybe, maybe, maybe Gabe, but two out of the three are much declined in how much they're chasing carbohydrates, mm -hmm. much declined. Yeah. And all three of them actually yeah. on the weekend have two meals, mm -hmm. like all three of them. They don't yeah. chase having that third meal in the morning. 
they wake up they're fine they go through a good portion of their morning before they're like okay i'm starting to get hungry but funny enough like my one of my son was telling his mom say oh dad's it's like the menu is kind of simple he has like two wheels one with meats and proteins one with vegetables and he spins them and whatever <laughs> all in the middle that's what you're eating and he's not like he's it, not it, that it, wrong he's not that wrong actually and i would also just go as far as to say you know at my house all three of them have accepted the idea that violet doesn't buy junk food anymore mm -hmm. <laughs> like it's rare to see something junky yeah. come in the house and when it's there they eat it they have to specifically ask for it though if, if like one of the boys say hey can you buy some okay i'm gonna buy it but if they don't remember to ask when i go to the store yeah. it's not there yeah. Yeah. and they've all accepted that mm. so i think it's it's again it's like this idea that maybe just the fact that we don't eat those things it's like not in their face all the time and then they're just like whatever they just if it's there they'll eat some if it's not there whatever and yeah. seriously i right, talk about how much car um vegetables i throw away do you know how much junk food i throw away <laughs> like mm -hmm. they'll come they'll have one or two cookies i throw the box in the garbage yeah. they'll come they'll have a little bit of ice cream i go in it is looking like ice i have to throw it in the garbage like there's a lot of things that i've thrown away even in that realm mm -hmm. that's kind of like oh my god chocolate i used to eat it i don't eat it anymore so throw it in the garbage so i do feel like you know it's funny but like mm -hmm. three years later how different our kids eat yeah it's really interesting to watch about the carnivore diet like there's a lot 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 of, of benefits doing uh doing that like uh, many people have reported uh, uh fixing their skin issues their bowel issues uh their energy levels even uh what else yeah, bowel uh, issues yeah they, they what fiber. did you what did you read about oh yeah because oh, no, no, i, I want to tackle I'm... the fiber question <laughs> i think the reason i paused you there is yeah. because so many people are so afraid of not being able to go to the bathroom because well, how do you go to the bathroom without fiber mm -hmm. but the interesting flip side of the coin is why do we need fiber mm -hmm. because we're eating things that we really that shouldn't we, be eating mm -hmm. Yeah. For those of you who are watching us and are still on the standard American diet and and might be interesting in uh, going directly to carnivore, what 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 should they expect? Like a hell of a hard time at the beginning, maybe. <laughs> I don't think it's going to be that different than going keto. Than though. going keto, yeah. I think you're going to live a few days of withdrawal. Withdrawal from carbs. If you, especially if you jump right in. Mm -hmm. um, now you could do what I did, which is do keto first and then eventually just kind of whittle your way down till it just doesn't make sense anymore mm -hmm. that I'm still buying vegetables to throw them away. Yeah. That's so frustrating. But, but like, I did the same, uh, to be honest, with the standard American. I was still buying some bread that was like you know, <laughs> ending up in the garbage. So so like probably to each his own, but like uh, you can either so, do progressively or yeah, jump you right you can. In. I mean, I'm a jump right in kind of person. Yeah. No. Uh, you're a progressive yeah. kind of person. <laughs> There's pluses and minuses on both sides. I, I feel like for me, the fact that I jumped right in, I lived those withdrawal symptoms quite strongly. You progressed your way in and you only had a little bit of a struggle with the withdrawal slash like that. The, there was more the cravings grabbing mm -hmm, you mm -hmm. at the very end that you had to like break. Yeah. Um, but you know what? OK, so flip side of the coin. And maybe this maybe this matters because I jumped in and I lived those withdrawal symptoms. I know it's not even a question mark. I know I was addicted mm. and I f and the funny thing is that I I'm so opposed to putting myself back in that situation where I wonder if because you kind of whittled your way down if you still kind of wonder like I can manage it because I'm not addicted and maybe mm. that's part of what helps you to kind of go back and forth and back and mm. forth although I think like logically you see it because if it wasn't the case why can't I not just let go of this stuff yeah. oh yeah but then sure. there's that emotional mm. but like you know you didn't live that of withdrawal <laughs> It really does depend on your personality. Mm -hmm. I think like I'm that person. I if I see that I had to live through something difficult to accomplish something, that really matters to me mm -hmm. and I'm very likely going to cherish what I've accomplished and not go back on it. Whereas there's mm -hmm. some people that, you know, working their way up to it can give them the exact same feeling of like, "Oh, look how hard it was for me to get to that and I worked slowly, 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 slowly." So, I mean, one is not better than the other. Just know your personality. Yeah. Know what's going to help you to feel like successful and do that so and i think you probably should be should be planning a lot with like uh, also like uh, check what meat you like what cheese you like uh try maybe to have if because especially if you're coming from the standard american diet and you have this variety of food or this pseudo variety of food that you think you have with like a uh, pasta and mm -hmm. rice and pizza like like you said usually on the standard American diet you, you always come back to the same meals every week every other week but like i think it's probably going to be possible on on carnivore too 
But just make sure that you know what you can eat and you can't eat before. I, I do okay. feel like that's an interesting point too. Like this idea of only. And we're so quick to say, what are you going to eat? You're only eating meat? Hmm. And the funny thing is like what you just said is like the average person, if you really look at your month, your weeks repeat. Mm -hmm. And you may be having, if you're having <laughs> seven meals, I think that's probably stretching yeah. it. Like when you think about it, there's pizza every uh, Friday and spaghetti every Monday. Like I think my mom used to do that. Like you know, or I think she had a, a seven-day meal plan, and we were we we knew that every Tuesday we were having fish, and every Wednesday we we're having something else. So like yeah. So there are more than well, seven meats. Of course, yeah, and, <laughs> and ways to prepare them. Like you can go ground yeah. mix, do a casserole, do a steak, do a. With watching all the channels that are talking about carnivore it did make and and with all the the waste <laughs> i think that's just the most important thing that i do when it comes to vegetation um about a week ago maybe a few days ago i finally put my mind to it that i'm going to try carnivore and part of the reason like i said earlier that i hadn't tried up until this point was because red meats right it's so important to eat red meats uh however after learning that eggs can fill in that gap I'm I'm feeling more confident that I'm going to give it a try so what we're going to do so because hmm. Pat has decided to join me yeah funny enough just before you 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 go into what you're going to do like I knew you were talking about the carnivore but I don't know like that idea was getting very like uh concrete and just seeing the last videos of the, the last few days I was like yeah I think I'm going to try it and we like today we come you we, we like came along and say oh okay let's go start like but go ahead. I don't want to steal your punch. <laughs> well, you're trying to steal my punch, but I said to you, and then you said, oh, I'm going to try it too. Um, but anyways, uh, the, the thing is, is that what we're going to do is, since I have restrictions, I'm going to do carnivore, and I'm going to try to get my vitamins and minerals from eggs. And since you don't have restrictions, what he's going to do is he's going to do carnivore the typical way by yeah. eating organ meats, etc., and hopefully this is going to give, I mean, of course, N of two, right? But hopefully it's going to give some insights that we can use to help us to understand, like, like what happens when someone who can't eat red meat, so I, I can't eat any of the organ meats from red meat, but I also, I can't eat really organ meats from white meat because they're high in iron. So what happens when someone in my situation is trying to do carnivore? One of the things that, that I do know happens to me when my minerals are off is that I get cramps. Oh. I'm gonna do some research to find out what other symptoms can happen if your minerals are off. Mm. And I'm gonna start tracking first and foremost the cramps because that's the thing that I notice mm. for me happens the more often, but also what else could possibly happen when your 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 minerals are off mm -hmm. so we're gonna create kind of maybe create a list of things and then like every day kind of check yeah. in to see if we have symptoms yeah indeed for me i think the the i think the main motivation is maybe getting rid of the little cravings that i have left and see if like it can jump like uh, the kick start my weight loss again see like over a month i probably going to be able to lose uh, a couple pounds so uh, yeah so we'll log everything and report back uh, in a and month. my hope is over the month to not lose any weight we have a little bit opposite um goals goals mm -hmm. here but that's okay like it's health they're both health goals mm -hmm. right i want to maintain and you want to lose yeah so this should be a very interesting experiment well as whereas i hope you're going to follow well not follow along i don't know will we will we do maybe some updates on stories Okay. Oh, maybe that might that. be an interesting yeah. thing to do because so we might we might put out a few stories mm. just letting you guys know like what's what and how things are going sure. scary idea well as far as i hope you're gonna follow along we're definitely gonna have a follow-up to this video talking about whatever results we get mm -hmm. any troubles that i had or that you had along the way and maybe we can learn something from this n of two experiment and see like mm -hmm. you know what does a month look like? And you know, there's a part of me that feels like, because, you know, it, when you do experiments, like longer is better. So I feel like, I mean, I'm saying a month right now only because I feel like a month is a minimum amount of time that you would need to do. My gut is telling me that if I really want to push this, I'd do three months. So if I don't have negative repercussions, 
I probably will try to push to the three month mark just mm -hmm. just to get good data um, and like see like what I actually struggle to maintain my weight because I feel like a month is easy to maintain your weight like if I did it for three months would I start to lose that's mm -hmm. kind of like my big fear um, that I would end up losing <laughs> losing weight so yeah. like but I want to push it I want to see you know um, what's going to happen so m for right now we're doing a month and then we'll we'll update you on whether we keep going forward for the two and then the three mm -hmm. it starts to tomorrow <laughs> so Oh, just for you guys to know, like yeah. by the time you watch this video, yeah. so it's June twenty seventh right now. So we are actually starting this challenge twenty the twenty eighth of June, and we're gonna run to the twenty eighth of July, which which should be our first mm -hmm. check in, possibly the last, depending on how it goes, <laughs> but our first check in, mm -hmm. and then if we're gonna keep going forward, we'll let you know at that point in time. So are you excited? Are you scared? Yeah. Are you nervous? Are you more ex not excited? I think it's excited, more excited than, than I'm kind of scared for my weight, but otherwise I'm excited. Yeah. <laughs> Wellness Warriors, I'm so happy that you guys come back. There are some videos on the screen right mm -hmm. there that are going to help you to improve your health. Everybody who's new here, welcome, subscribe and share the video share the video <laughs> ring the bell yeah. do all the things all because the things you, yeah. you want to come back and see how the video is going to do right so mm -hmm. you you need to have your notifications on yeah thanks for watching see you next week see you next week